overflows. Psychology of sex. Just as food has two dimensions, gross and subtle. Gross is the content and the quantity and the other and more important one is the feeling of the taste of the food and the satiation that it gives you. Without this, the food is of no use. This is the intrinsic value. It is the feeling of taste in the food that really satiates you. The feeling of taste in food is the grace, the subtle element in food. It has intrinsic value in food. This intrinsic value comes when you have total understanding of each ingredient and not only that but the entire process, the art and science of cooking. Proportions of each ingredient, at what stage of cooking any particular ingredient has to be added and to what proportion. So too is the case with any act that you perform in your life. Grace is subtle yet invisible aspect. This applies to sex, how to balance art and science aspect of the entire process. Just as when gravies and any particular dish is cooked without any hurry at low heat, its taste enhances. The, it is said the best dal makhni dal near, takes nearly 40 hours slow cooking. There is a particular non-vegetarian dish from Kashmir. Its preparation time is very long. This preparation time is similar to what we call in sex as foreplay. Then finishing any item, tempering, decorating, plating are the afterplay before the food is served. And the taste comes along with that. Gustava is one of the familiar dish from Kashmir. Meatballs made with minced meat are covered in heap of spicy and thick yogurt based gravy. Psychologists say that love is nothing but foreplay to sex. They are right in a way because they have no other specimen to study but you. Then they study you and then they come to conclude that love is nothing but a foreplay. Love is just creating a situation in which sex can happen, nothing else. So when sex has happened, love disappears. It is just like when you feel hungry, you gravitate towards food and you look at the food with enchanted eyes. But when your hunger is satiated, you look away from the food. All the enchantment that food brings to you is lost. Such is the state of sex according to psychologists. Everyone feels pleasure differently during sex. For some, sex and pleasure is highly physical and an orgasm is the ultimate delight. Others don't need an orgasm to enjoy sex or for sex to feel good. Orgasm can also feel differently each time by different people. Some can build up slowly and be more intense while others are short, quick, bursts of pleasure. At times, orgasm is like mild after effects of an earthquake. Both men and women can feel great pleasure during sex. Each genitals, male or female, has tissues rich with nerve endings. These become swollen 
with blood and highly sensitive during arousal and orgasm. Women are more likely to have problems reaching an orgasm though for a variety of reasons. While sex involves your genitals, pleasure actually comes from brain chemicals and heightened senses. Different stages of sex cause physical changes that activate brain chemicals and cause intense sensation during the process. Both men and women go through these phases but not necessarily in the same order. First comes the desire. The first stage of sex and pleasure is desire. This is also known as your libido. This is your natural urge and instincts to have sex which can be influenced by your moods, thoughts and hormones at that moment. Your body physically changes during various stages of sex. These include hardening of the nipples, blood flow to your vagina increases, erection, faster heart rate and faster breathing. Then next stage comes arousal. During this phase of arousal, your physical changes become more intense as you get excited. Your senses are heightened and your muscles tighten in rhythm as you work towards orgasm. You may experience the following, not basically in the same order, heart rate it speeds up even more, blood pressure rises, breathing gets more intense, blood flows to your vagina increases even more, clitoris becomes highly sensitive, testicles pull up into your scrotum, Muscles, muscle spasm start in your face, feet and hands, glands secret fluids to make sex easier. Then comes the next phase, orgasm. The orgasm is the peak of your sex cycle. It happens when your muscles relax. In the phase before that, they get tense and intense. Now your muscles relax after a series of contractions. It usually only lasts for a few seconds, but its after effect remains a little longer time, but can be longer for some and is most intense period of pleasure that you have. Muscle contractions in your vagina, muscle contractions at the base of your penis, fast heart rate and breathing, sudden intense release of sexual tensions, sex flush or rash across your skin and feeling of euphoria. Then comes the phase of resolution. During this phase, your body starts to return to normal. Endorphin floods your blood and you feel happy, warm, and sometimes sleepy. Some women are still sensitive in this phase and can be stimulated into more orgasms and pleasure, but men usually need some time. Not everyone reaches orgasm and that too each time. An orgasm is not just a physical sense of pleasure, as your brain releases endorphins, you get a natural high that triggers a mental state of bliss and harmony to some extent. Sex and pleasure 
for both men and women differs. Arousal for men often starts with an erection and is reflexive response to thoughts, fantasies and physical stimulation. Pleasure can be both physical and emotional for men. Sex builds closeness and affection with your partner which adds to the pleasure and satisfaction of sex. Men also get pleasure from partners pleasure during sex. Studies show men who have sex with women often feel responsible for her pleasure or for the lack of an orgasm. Men tend to feel guilty if there is no orgasm, which can lower the self-esteem and affect overall pleasure during sex. Sex and pleasure for women. Only about 50% of women regularly have orgasm during sex, compared to 90% or more of men. Large number of women are able to reach orgasm during self-masturbation, but find the orgasm better and more satisfying when it stems from penetrative sex with a partner. It is sometimes said that orgasms are not important to all women, but studies show that women who do not have them find sex life unsatisfying. This suggests that pleasure does matter to a woman more. So why do women have so much trouble reaching pleasure during sex? The most common cause is not enough stimulation. The preparation, preparation before, just as in food, a proper preparation, like when you are marinating a particular meat dish, it requires eight hours of proper marination. During this process, everything, the, all the flavors are infused in the item. The most common cause is not enough stimulation or preparation time, or as we call in cooking marination. But it can also happen because of stress, worry, hormonal changes, and other problems. So enough for now, then I'll continue to explore more aspects of it. Sex is natural and spontaneous, not ethical, and how to spiritualize sex between the partners. I have spoken the after effects, what happens when an individual or a partner attains to higher state of joy or pleasure during the air, but how one can reach to that and what the partners should do to attain to a blissful state each time when they enter into the air. So these talks will continue enough for now.